Good day students, welcome to mathgutserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over the strategy for finding the area between curves. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at um, strategy number one. Um, step one in the strategy involves sketch. You want to sketch um, the curves of the two functions if they are not already provided. In the AP Calculus exam, in most cases, the graphs are provided for you in the free response question section. But in other cases, you might have to make a table of values to generate the points um, for the curve within the specified domain. Or you might have to make use of your graphing calculator to um, get um, an idea as to what the curve looks like, okay? So whichever way you're generating the curve, if it's not provided, you have to generate the curve. If it's provided already, then you can skip step number one in this strategy. Step two is the orientation of your slice. This is very important. We know that um, finding the area of the region between two curves involves slicing up the area between the two curves into infinitely narrow rectangles. So the question is, what is the orientation of your rectangular slices? Is it going to be side to side or is it going to be up and down? The easiest way to determine what orientation you want to use is you want to make sure that whatever direction your slice is, you want to ensure that the function is a function of that variable. Let's say you are slicing in the direction of the x-axis. You're going to use a vertical line test to make sure that the line, a vertical line, does not intersect any of the functions more than once. If you orient your, your slices horizontally, then you want to use a horizontal line test to ensure that the line does not intersect the function more than once. Okay? So you orient your slice. Step number three this is really important. You want to label everything, okay? Label your functions, the top function and the bottom function. You also want to la label your limits of integration, okay? Uh, in some cases, you might be able to determine what your limits of integration are by observing the points of intersection on the graph. So all the times you might have to algebraically compute what the points of intersection are by solving an equation. Other times, they might just be vertical lines that are boundaries that are constraining your bounded region, okay? After labeling completely, then you're going to set up, okay? Now, you're going to set up your integral with the following formulas. Now, we have two formulas here. Um, if you are slicing vertically, okay, that's up and down, then your slices are going to be moving from the left to the right. So up and down vertical slice in the y direction means that everything is going to have x's in them. You're going to be moving in the x direction from x left to x right. And then you're going to have a function on the top and a function on the bottom dx. Okay. So this, inner, this formula is what you use to find the area if you are slicing the regions vertically. Now, what if you're slicing your regions horizontally? You're going to use this area formula. Horizontal slice means your slices will be going from bottom to top, up and down, okay? So you're going to have the integral from the y at the bottom. That's your lower limit of integration all the way to the top. Um, that's your upper limit of integration. And you're going to have function of y to the right minus function of y to the left, okay? If you take a look at these two formulas, do you see a pattern? It clearly is. When you're slicing vertically, up and down in the y direction, notice all the variables here are what? They are all x's. x limit and a function, functions of f, f with respect to x, dx. Okay? And then if you're slicing horizontally, then you notice that um, everything is in the y direction. So your limits of integration are y, and you have a function of y on the right minus a function of y on the left, dy. Okay, so the key takeaway here is whatever direction you're slicing, your variables are going to be 
in the opposite direction. Vertical slice in the y direction, everything else is everything is x's. Horizontal slice in the um, in the x direction, everything is going to be y's. All right, so these are the two formulas you're going to use to um, set up your integral representing the area. And then lastly, you evaluate your integral. Depending on the problem, it could be something to compute manually using the integration um, techniques, or you might have the luxury of using your calculator to compute what the integral um, is. Okay, so these are the steps. Um, these are just abstract. We we'll like for you to take a look at some of our examples so that you can really see these steps in action and um, gain mastery on how to find the area between two curves. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.